Welcome to Horizontal Multiplication Division Booklet 7, Multiplying by 8 and 9. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start on page number 5 and work with that first word problem at the, at the top. Uh, it says, Mark ate two eggs every morning and two eggs every night for eight days. How many total eggs were eaten? Write a number sentence and solve. Well, I first need to find out how many eggs they ate per day, and then I probably am going to be multiplying that by 8 because there are 8 days, same number each time. So if it's 2 eggs every morning and 2 eggs every night, I'm going to go ahead and do 2 plus 2, and that's equal to 4. So then I'm going to go, okay, 4 per day for 8 days, that's 4 times 8. So that's going to give me 32. So that's going to be 32 total eggs were eaten. Let's move on down to the fill in the missing numbers. Uh, we give you 8 times 0 is equal to 0. As you know by now, anything multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. So what is basically 8 times 1? Well, anything times itself is just going to be itself. So 8 times 1 is just going to be 8. So then, I will you go ahead and see the 16 there. So 8 times something is equal to 16. How many times does 8 go into 16? Twice. So that's going to be 8 times 2 is equal to 16. So then 8 times 3? That's equal to 24. 8 times 4, that's equal to 32. Now let's go ahead and say we put in 40 there. So 8 times something is equal to 40. 8 times 5. And you probably follow the pattern going down, or you could realize that 8 times 5 is 40. Either way works in this case. 8 times 6, that's 48. Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit more now. 8 times 7, 8 times 8, that's going to be 56 and 64, respectively. Uh, 8 times 9 is 72, 8 times 10 is 80, and finally go ahead and do 11 and 12 at the same time. 8 times 11 is 88, and 8 times 12 is 96. Let's move on to the power of 10 exercise. So I see 4 times 8, 40 times 8, and 400 times 8. Okay. Well, I know by looking to the left that 4 times 8, or 8 times 4, is just 32. So now 40 times 8 is going to be very similar. Again, you're multiplying that by 10. 4 to 40 is 10 times. So 32 is going to get multiplied by 10. So basically, it's like adding 1 zero. So it's going to be 320. 400 times 8 is going to be 3,200. Uh, I'll show you a couple more different power of 10 problems. Let's go ahead and do the uh, division 1. So 40 divided by 8, I know that to be 5. So 400 divided by 8. Very similar, there was an extra 0 from 40 to 400, so it's going to be an extra 0 from 5 to 50. And 4,000 divided by 8 is going to be 500. Hopefully you can see the same pattern is the same way, just like the multiplication. Uh, we're going to go ahead and leave that other one for you just to figure it out on your own. Let's go ahead and do up to the fact families now. I see 8, 3, and 24. So I know one of my fact families is going to be 8 times 3 is equal to 24. And now, if the, since multiplication can go either way, it doesn't matter which one goes first, just like addition. 8 times 3 is 24, so also 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Uh, going backwards, I'm going to do my division now. So I'm going to start with my 24. So 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3, and 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8. Let's go ahead and skip up to page 17. Uh, I'm going to work on that word problem right there. Eric had 24 sweatshirts to split among his six teammates. How many sweatshirts did each teammate get? Write a number sentence and solve. Okay. So he had a total of 24, and basically six people, were gonna, he's going to split it between six people. Well, to me, that means division. Okay. Now, even though this is multiplying by 8 and 9, Dividing is basically involved in this as well. This is something that you should be able to handle. So 24 divided by 6, because there are 6 teammates, that's equal to 4. So be, there should be 4 sweatshirts per teammate. Let's go ahead and move down to fill in the missing numbers. Uh, I know that 8 times 0 is equal to 0. Uh, well, that one's been given to you. Anything times 0 is equal to 0. 8 times 1, well, if you multiply anything by itself, you're going to get itself, so in this case, that's going to be 8. Uh, what if you had 16 out there? That's the same thing as 8 multiplied by 2. Good. 8 times 3. 8 times 3 is equal to 24. 
Let's move over to the nines column. Uh, I see 9 times 0, that's going to be equal to 0. Uh, 9 times 1 should equal 9. Uh, 18 is equal, to multi is equal to 9 multiplied by 2. 9 times 3 equal to 27. Now we've done this, it's a very similar pattern as you saw with the 8s. So let's move over to the 11s and now do that column. 11 times 0 is 0. 11 times 1 is just going to multiply by itself, so it's going to be 11. Uh, 22 is 11 times 2. 11 times 3 is 33. So as you can see, it's a similar pattern every single time. The 8th column, it always goes up by 8 on the left. On the 9th column, it always goes up by 9. In the 11th column, it's going up by 11. Nothing is changing there. Let's go ahead and move into the row involving 4, since obviously we've been going down 0, 1, 2, and 3. So let's go ahead and put in our 4s there. So 8 times 4, 9 times 4, and 11 times 4. Well, 8 times 4 is equal to 32, 9 times 4 is equal to 36, and 11 times 4 is equal to 44. I want to go ahead and fill in my 5s just because it's next on the list. So then I'll have 40 is equal to 8 times 5, 45 for 9 times 5, and 55 for 11 times 5. Hopefully by now you've seen the pattern, so I'm going to go ahead and just release the rest of them. Uh, that way you do a, go ahead and do it yourself and then just pause this video and when you're ready for it just go ahead and press play and it will show you all the answers. The rest of the answers are here and it kind of just goes through each one. As always if you need any help with this just ask your getting instructor and I'm sure that they'll be able to help you out. Alright, good luck.